What is going on guys and girls? Welcome back to CK2 Holy Fury and King Hakon Magnuson. 19 year old king who in the last episode defeated a large rebellion. A rebellion that started under his father. And um, yeah, we have unfortunately been infected, or our wound has been infected, a wound that we suffered in a battle, and uh, we're also very stressed right now. So I hope that we can take some time to just relax, just handle our affairs, and uh, and that we'll have a long life. I'm a bit worried, to be honest, because this negative three health, you know, uh, so mm, I I'm a little bit, uh, I'm a little bit on edge right now, but yeah, so... We've defeated this uh, rebellion, and now we have several people imprisoned, and I mean to revoke some titles. We'll have to hope that our council is with us on this, um, but so far that seems to be the case. I've got to be careful, because I'm going to be acquiring a lot of titles, so I, I should probably just revoke one title and then give it out immediately. Now, this guy's excommunicated, so that's nice. We've got the Duke of Lancaster that, uh, yeah, will lose his title likely. Um, is there anyone else we can give it to? He basically holds all three titles in this duchy, which annoys me. Uh, let me see what I can do about that. Uh, we, he, we could just banish him outright. I don't think we will. But if I just get rid of the duchy... Uh, so see, the council council's against this for some reason. Pies of my religion, pies of my religion... Okay, so with the excommunicated people, we could do it. What about this woman? She was the one leading it. And she too holds both titles. And her husband rules Westmoreland. Which is part of which duchy? Cumbria. Okay, well, let's revoke. I can't revoke it either because the council's against it. Ah, oh, very annoying. Very freaking annoying. So... East Anglia can be revoked, however. I think that's something I will do. Uh, we could offer a non-aggression pact for some reason, but you know what? Low. Let's just start with this, and we'll get rid of one of the uh, many Haraldsons that are ruling. And I'm just going to switch this around and give it to the Countess here. Um, the Duchy of East Anglia. Okay, very good. So people would be happy about that. She should be very happy. Very good. Um, this dude is ruling this island. Okay. So maybe this wasn't the best idea, but oh well. And, okay, what else? We've got Edward of Somerset in prison. Can I revoke his duchy? I can. Let's do that as well. And can I revoke even more? No. County of Bath. If I go for Somerset, this has been burned. Earl Onluff of Somerset. He of the House Lockhart. Our steward is his brother. He doesn't like us all that much. Fallen Conqueror for some reason. Wait, how am I a Conqueror? How are we... Wait, how are we a Conqueror again? That's so dumb. Okay, so I'm very confused. Why are we a Fallen Conqueror again? Because... We just inherited this. We didn't conquer it. Uh, wait, this sucks. This didn't. This was not here before. So when I checked last episode, I was very happy because we didn't conquer the title. We just inherited it. We had, you know, 20 more relations than our father. But now this, this is back. Why are we considered a foreign conqueror? People voted for us. That actually... I don't know. That, that actually bothers me quite a bit, but... Um, yeah, I think I might just have to give it to this guy. He's got a claim on Dorset. Mm, I'm, I don't know, man. That's actually weakening Dagmar quite a bit. Uh, I'm uncertain. Maybe I'll just give it to Dagmar, actually. Give her a second duchy. Alright. You've got plenty of claims. You know... I think I might. I might just give this to you. I'll give you the Duchy of Somerset. There you go. Make you hopefully a lot stronger. And hopefully no one's gonna, you know, crush you. I think you're gonna be able to pay your ransom. That's fine. 70 gold. I'll, yeah, let you out. And 
Hopefully people will be joining in on my plots here, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Alright, but there's our coronation for now. I kneel before the Prince Bishop as a host of vassals surround us in complete silence. And there we are finally and truly king now. Very, very good. So extra prestige, piety, and church opinion. Nice. We're currently in debt. I hope that will change soon. Yeah, actually it does right now. Perfect. And we can now go into hiding. So do we know who is trying to kill us? Kill Duke of Iceland. Fabricate a claim. Fabricate a claim on the kingdom. Our advisor. Could you not? Let's go for the non-aggression pact. So we'll hopefully stop this. A wise choice indeed. And what about Mercia? He would say no. That's bad because he's ambitious. He wants a seat in the council. Uh, I could maybe make him marshal. Well, I already have a marshal. Ha. Huh. Well, I don't know. I think I'm just gonna leave it the way it is right now, and we'll just we'll just move forward. Uh, yeah. I just hope that this is gonna go away. Okay. The tribes of Coronia have been converted by the king of Sweden, our brother-in-law. Bjornjolf the missionary. God has finally touched them. Yeah, that's nice. And yeah, you are still paying tribute to Botrithia. You're actually losing men. You're losing this fight, it looks like. Um Actually you might getting enough reinf I actually know are these reinforcements? I don't know. But this is this could be problematic. I think Obatrithia might lose a lot of men here, which I wouldn't I would not mind. I imagine a situation which became more and more intimidating. With an outcome, that could mean life or death. Uh, we're going to try and be brave. Yes, and it worked very good. I mean, we were brave. We had fought a battle and we did not run away. So I feel like that fits our character. For sure. Okay, and stress actually reduces this quite a bit as well. Damn. My wife is pregnant. Awesome. 22 years old. She looks very old somehow. Just, or just unhealthy overall. I don't know what's going on there. Yeah, Mercia is attacking Duke Edmund the Cruel. Mercian claim on Lancaster War. Oh. Okay, he's a very ambitious man. I'm... I'm uncertain, but I can't revoke anything anyways. Hmm. I can tell him to surrender. Surrender to Mercia. But I would be losing prestige for this. I think I'm not going to do this. I will just let them fight it out. There is a jihad for Jerusalem. The Sunni Caliph Muhammad III has decided to call a jihad against the Kafirs in Jerusalem. Alright, so Robert the Pilgrim, 52 years old. This looks actually pretty dope. Uh, Crus Crusader King, crowned by Pope Leo with a nice bloodline as well. He's now defending. I, I don't know if he's going to get any support. He's got 10,000 men, probably a couple of holy orders to help him as well. Um, actually, no, there are none. So, I'm not sure how he's gonna do. Probably not too, not too well. I could scarcely believe it, but the pregnancy has made my wife look even more beautiful than she already was. Whenever we are in the same room, I can hardly take my eyes off her. Interesting. Better make a move quickly. Make a move on my wife? I should not look at her this way. No, you know what? If we think she's hot... I mean, I... I just said she looked a bit... Sick, but you know what? Fine. If if Hawkon likes it, why not? Let's try and be a little bit lustful. Make her feel good about it. You know, she might. You know, she might think she's fat or something, and we'll uh, we'll tell her that no, that's not the case. She looks beautiful as ever. Okay. Now our sister and Duke Radvolt. I think I want to I want to marry these guys. They're very ambitious, but if I can keep them in line this way, um, yeah, that would be good. Now I could force him to make peace with Lancaster. I actually don't really want to. I'm just going to keep it that way. And um, I'm thinking about maybe commissioning a runestone for our father here. Search for a smith. That might be something as well. We don't have any, you know, we don't really have any crowns or jewels or anything. So maybe that's something we should go for. Uh, we don't really have that much money, but it's getting up there soon. Okay, good tradition to have some gossips around a pregnant woman. I will have some maids dispatched. Sure. Of course we'll do that. We'll do anything for our wife right now, I think. And in fact, we could probably just sway our queen. And try and become friends, but that seems a bit unnecessary. So let's just not do that. Um, 
Right, and then there's one thing I actually wanted to mention last episode. I completely forgot about this. I've decided on a name of uh, of Magnus' bastard daughter, and I went with the name Magnusing because I mean, first of all, you guys had some great suggestions. There were a lot of suggestions. I think like around three that all had to do like it was some kind of variation of Lochlin or Loch something Loch considered uh, or something to do with Loch, and obviously that makes sense for a Scottish queen. But she's not yet the Scottish Queen, right? It's just our plan, uh, but it might never come to fruition because I can only... Actually, in fact, I could press the Kingdom of Scotland right now. I might. But what I'm trying to say is that uh, I think she, especially because she's not been legitimized officially, she would want, she would want proof for a bloodline, right? And so I think naming her house after her father, the, you know, the great... English Norwegian king would make a lot of sense for her, you know, just for her own legitimacy. And so that's why I went with it. And I've also tried to uh, go with the suggestion to invert her, her coat of arms. So the colors are um, gold and red. I mean, as close as I could anyways. And it's supposed to be a lion as well. Um, that is, you know, I mean, you know what I was trying to go for. And the advantages this has is this looks actually very similar to the Scottish uh, emblem as well. The Scottish coat of arms too. Um, so that's kind of how Cinehill tries to establish her legitimacy. But yeah, our steward has an idea for an expedition. Yeah, let's go for that. And I think we're the type of guy that is just going to buy the merchant ship. Yeah, for sure. And do I want to have... Yeah, let's have these guys with us. Why not? And go on to foreign lands. We'll see how that goes. Our expedition has reached the realm of High Chieftess... High Chieftess Titty. <laughs> I'm sure I'm not making this up. This is, this is apparently her name. Okay, High Chieftess Titty. Uh, hello. You probably want to have some strong horses, don't you? Sounds like a good idea. At dinner, at dinner, we notice her face growing red with annoyance as our steward is shoveling food with his bare hands. Excuse him trying to teach him. Do I want to make him angry? Uh, well, I mean, he's not really doing it. He's, he doesn't, I don't think he, he's doing it. Disrespecting her culture. Huh. You know what? Let's. Since we're temperate, let's just say that he was maybe a bit... He was doing this a bit too much. Anyway, as we're walking around court, uh, we hear discussion. The Ethesians need to see the error of the ways must be stopped. This could endanger the whole venture. Okay, yeah, let's piss off our our uh, vassals here. They shouldn't be talking this. Uh, since we're not a zealous person, I think we're, we're not going to go for that. So let's just stop them. Let's not have these clergymen endanger the operation. Daughter was born, Suniva, only like that, Ingrid. Sure, let's go with Ingrid instead. And uh, you'll be, we're getting the humility focus. There you go. After long hours of negotiating, discussion, possible terms of trade, we have arrived at a agreement. Very good. So that should give us a new, I mean, we actually have a trade right in our old capital. Now that I switched, we might get another one. That's actually cool. And apparently, we have improved our education as well. So, Fortune Builder, 6 Stewardship, 1 Martial Diplomacy, minus 1, plus 10 Fertility. And this is giving us more fertility, yeah, more learning, and even more Martial. Very nice. And there's the Trade Route, Extra Gold, Prestige, more Stewardship, City Vassal Opinion. Oh, that was, that went well. That went very, very well. I like it. Okay, so we have a trade relationship with this woman, which I believe means we're not going to attack her. We might attack, like, the neighboring realm, but I think the High Chieftess Titty is not going to be attacked. Um, so, yeah. Our steward brought in riches, and he'll be rewarded for that. Oh, wow, he's actually going to get a lot of money. Um, he was doing his duty. We could become greedy. I don't really want to become greedy. Then again, he was... Mm, I mean, fine, you know what? Have a little bit of money. It's okay. But I'm not going to give it to the bishops, I don't think. Anyway, neither of us prospers. That's good news. That's really good news. And it's been not that long. 
Uh, I could also start building a hospital here. Or all kinds of things. In fact, let's build a Huskull training ground. I think that's probably the most important for now, because that's giving us heavy infantry attack and all that good stuff. A hospital I can always build later on. Okay, so. There's also people I can imprison. The Duke of Kent. Why? He's excommunicated. So nobody will care. Mm. Sure. Okay. Yeah, let's lock him up. And then let's see. I can also... Do I know who ki tried to kill me? No. It's not. I don't know. And then Radvald, you could be imprisoned, but people would be against it. Hmm. Alright. Well, I'm not going to do it for now. Conversion of Estonia. Okay, so now all of these tribes are converting relatively quickly as well. But Disuumi just lost a war. Attacking. Wait, they're attacking King Bjornolf the Missionary in the conquest of Westerbottom. Okay, so Sweden is being attacked. Oh, this is a defensive war. Interesting. All right. Well, anyway, you are being converted. That's good news. All right. We'll see how this develops. Um, but I think we're going to try and keep... A non-aggression... If we could go for a non-aggression pact, actually, that would be nice. Hmm. Anyway, what else do we have? New important decision. We could hold a grand tournament. Oh, there's so many things I want to do. Uh, but that would give us a lot of prestige. I don't think we really have the money for this, so let's... Let's wait. Let's wait a bit. And yeah, we could go for Scotland. Maybe that's something. This guy is 11 years old. Should we... Press to claim... But the council's against it. So that's not really possible. More important wars. Hmm. Well, I can't really go against the council right now. What I can maybe do is go for free investiture. People are undecided on that. Hmm. What's my council like right now? Uh, Ducare... Wolfmar, Duke Winston the Young, a Wistan. He's a glory hound. I'm not really sure what that means. Could go any way, either way. Uh, you know what? Let's, okay. Let's try for this. I don't know why they're all undecided. Council considerations. Why do we not know? Hmm. Okay, let's just start the vote and let's see how that goes. Okay, Duke Malmö of Moray. Okay. Wait. Ah! So I can't press the claim anymore. Damn it. Okay. Well, that's interesting. So he just inherited land. So I can no longer press his claim on Scotland. So he, he would have to press his claim himself. Um. So, yeah. Sinehild is now Duchess of Moray. And um, we can keep an eye on her, but obviously, yeah, I can't really help her anymore. Uh, we can't go for a non-aggression park or alliance, so yeah, I can't really do anything for them. I tried, my council was against it, and so, yeah, that was that. Okay, I think that ne means we need a new uh, court tutor, for which I'll probably go with Tord. It's an interesting name. Master of Hunt needs to be appointed as well. Uh, sure, we'll go for our vassal. And that's it for now. Okay, wow. Uh, well, I hope that they're going to press their claim on Scotland on their own. Because, uh, yeah, I mean, I can't help them anymore. Also, High Chief Otso, I don't think we have a pact anymore. We're actually allied to the King of Denmark now. But yeah, we actually don't have any relationship anymore, so I'm just gonna unmark you. And our friend is now known as the Lame. He wants He's a powerful vassal, he would love to be on a council. I'll probably make him advisor soon, for now I'll, I'll, uh, I'll just wait a little bit though. Okay, well, interesting situations going on. We're still infected and stressed, I hope this will go away soon. But for now at least we've been making a lot of money, that's, that's a good start. 
Today's video was brought to you by my glorious supporters over at Patreon. And right now, I just want to thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. And before you leave, I'd love to have you subscribed so you can stay updated on all the new releases.